One of the biggest questions that people ask about this whole MILPA program is how do I control weeds within our MILPA mix? Uh, and to be honest, that's, that's one of the biggest challenges. Uh, it's it's going to be very difficult. Because of the diversity that's in this mix, there's, there's no chemicals that you can use. Uh, which, because you're growing produce anyway, that's not a bad thing to not be able to use chemicals. However, there, weeds are going to be an issue. So, when there's no chemical options, there's several options left for you. Uh, number one, if you're doing it on a small scale, you can do hand weeding, uh, at least to get the weeds out that you really don't like to see out there. Uh, so that would be one option, very labor intensive and probably not practical if you're doing milpa on a large scale. If you are doing it on a larger scale, the best thing that we've seen for weed control has to start the year before, uh, where we've seen the cleanest milpa garden fields is where the, the farmer has planted cereal rye the fall before. They let that cereal rye grow up and get five or six feet tall, and they come through with a roller crimper of some sort, and, and they flatten that cereal rye. And if you do it right when the, when the cereal rye is headed out and shedding pollen, it's pretty susceptible to being killed at that point and you'll just lay it flat and you'll have like a mulch mat uh, which is going to be very good for weed control it's going to make it more difficult to seed uh, and at that point you will need a drill to cut through that thatch and get the the seed planted so it's very effective weed control uh, and and it will keep your soil cool through the summer you just have to have a way uh, to be able to seed through that uh, so that's that's the best way that we've seen with weed control the other thing is, you know, th this is this is a milpa garden. It's okay to have some weeds in there and some weeds out there, and so you just have to learn to live with some of them. And we have had people, if it gets too bad, you may have to mow it off, turn the cattle out there. Um, sometimes things don't work out the way that we had it planned, and so that you know that may be an option as well.